This is the mirror cap of my 2017 Subaru Outback wrapped with Vibids Tech R Gloss Carbon Fiber and Ultra Gloss Smurf Blue Vinyl Wrap, giving my mirror cap a unique two toned look. I'll show you how I did this, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do before getting started is to thoroughly clean your mirror cap. I used a mixture of isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol mixed with water in about a 70 to 30 ratio or 80 20 ratio and a microfiber cloth to clean the surface of my mirror cap. The next thing I did was to apply some knifeless tape to the hard body line of the mirror cap. For this application, I'm using 3M's Design Line Series knifeless tape because it's designed to go around curves and bends easier than their Finish Line Series. Knifeless tape will allow me to cut the vinyl without needing to cut directly on the paint, eliminating the risk of cutting into the, my mirror cap and scratching the finish. Once I had the knifeless tape where I wanted it, I then applied the Tech R carbon fiber vinyl to the vertical surface of my mirror cap. As you can see, I pre-cut a piece so that I wouldn't have too much vinyl interfering with installation. And after peeling the backing paper from the vinyl, I tacked down the vinyl in place loosely to ensure that I had full coverage of the area to be wrapped. Once I was certain everything was good, I then squeegeed the vinyl firmly towards the front side of the mirror cap, ensuring the vinyl was fully applied over the knifeless tape towards the front of the mirror cap. I then applied the vinyl towards the back of the cap, where I cut off the excess vinyl hanging off the back end past the edge of the mirror cap. I also cut off some of the excess vinyl hanging over the blinker cover as well, and getting rid of this excess vinyl will make it easier to wrap as it reduces unnecessary vinyl that could bind up or get in the way as you install. So after trimming away some of the excess vinyl, you can see that I then used my hard edge of my squeegee to then start to tuck in the vinyl where it meets the blinker cap top. I also trimmed off a little more excess vinyl in that area of the curve of the blinker cap so that the vinyl would fall in better and tuck into the gap between the mirror cap and the top of the blinker cover. As you can see, I continue to lift the vinyl up a little bit and tuck it into the gap between the bottom of the mirror cap and the top of the blinker cover using the hard edge of my squeegee. Once I had that area all tucked in, I used a little bit of heat all around the soft vinyl and to make sure that I didn't have any trapped air bubbles and my vinyl was set along the knifeless tape really well. I then used heat towards the bottom front of the mirror cap to soften the vinyl a little bit and then I lifted up that vinyl and tucked it into the bottom edge and then I used my hard micro squeegee to tuck it in a little bit better as well. Once I was confident everything was tucked in very well and my vinyl was applied firmly and evenly over the knifeless tape, I then pulled the knifeless tape to cut the vinyl. I then removed the excess vinyl off the top of the mirror cap, pulled out the knifeless tape carrier and filament, and what was left underneath the edge of the cut vinyl. I then sealed off that edge that I had just cut using my finger to ensure that there were no bubbles or loose edges on that line. With the knifeless tape cut, I then used my knife to cut into the areas where I had tucked the vinyl above the mirror blinker cover. Here I floated the tip of my knife into the gap between the mirror cap and blinker cover. And once that was cut, I went ahead and used my micro squeegee to tuck everything in and seal the vinyl down well. While I was at the back of the mirror cap, I went ahead and used my micro squeegee to tuck in the back edge of the mirror cap and cut that with my knife as well, floating the tip of the knife inside the gap between the mirror cap and the black plastic trim ring. I then turned my attention toward the front bottom of the mirror cap where you can see I then used my knife tip again to float the tip in between the gap at the bottom of the mirror cap and the top edge of the black plastic trim. And with that, the carbon fiber portion of the wrap is now done. Next, I then applied another line of knifeless tape just on the inside of the top edge of the carbon fiber vinyl that I had just applied. And this will allow for a very slight overlap of the blue vinyl that we'll apply next onto the carbon fiber vinyl. With my knifeless tape down, I then went to apply the blue vinyl. You can see that I had a piece already cut and that I, after peeling off the backing paper, tacked the vinyl at the front end of the mirror cap, and then I heated the entire piece of vinyl and then stretched it over top so that it laid out smooth and glassy over the top of the mirror cap. When you're heating, be sure to heat the entire piece of vinyl, not just a small section, so that when you do stretch it, the stretch is evenly distributed over the entire piece of vinyl. And once I had that vinyl laid over the top, you can see that I lift up the vinyl a little bit, just past the knifeless tape, and then heat it so that the vinyl shrinks down over that area, eliminating any stretch in that area, and then I laid it down flat over the knifeless tape. This will ensure that there's no pullback of the vinyl later on at that edge. Next, I did the same thing on the back side of the mirror cap where I lifted up the edge and heated it so that the vinyl that I did stretch shrinks back, eliminating any tension, and then I can lay it down over that back edge without any tension at the edges. I then used the hard edge of my squeegee to ensure the edges of the vinyl were laid down over the knifeless tape and tucked in well between the mirror cap and the back edge of the black trim ring. Also as well on the front bottom of the mirror cap where it meets the base. 
On the front bottom, I then lifted up the vinyl a little bit, heated it so it is soft and shrink, and then tucked it into the bottom of the mirror cap where it does meet the base. Once I was satisfied everything was ready to go, I pulled the knifeless tape and peeled away the excess vinyl and the knifeless tape filament and carrier. Then I ensured that the freshly cut vinyl was sealed down at the edges, and before cutting off the rest of the excess vinyl, I used my micro squeegee to ensure everything was tucked in well, ready for cutting along the back edge and bottom edge of the mirror cap. And then I used my knife floating the tip into the cap between the edge of the mirror cap, the black trim ring, and the bottom of the mirror cap where it meets the base. Once I had everything trimmed and taken away, I then used heat to make sure everything was sealed down nice and firmly, and also to find any air bubbles that I might have missed. I used my micro squeegee along the edges to ensure everything was tucked down into those edges nice and firmly. And so with that, this mirror cap has been wrapped in two-tone colors with Vivid Tech R Carbon Fiber Vinyl and Vivid's Ultra Gloss Smurf Blue. So I hope this video has been helpful in teaching you how to do a two-tone style mirror cap wrap on your car. If you did like this video, thought it was helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a great day.